Hey guys, what is up? My name is Ryan Fan. I'm here to brighten your day the nerdy way. And I'm here right now with my first with my first theory in over a year and it it feels really good. Now, this theory isn't going to be related to superheroes or comic books. Well, sort of. Manga is a bit of comic books, so I I guess you can say it will be. But we are diving into the realm of anime for some Dragon Ball Z action. Now, let's get into some of that joyous Japanese stuff, shall we? Since the mid-1980s, the Dragon Ball franchise has been taking the world by storm, spawning many fan fictions, comics, toys, and etc. So it's pretty safe to say that the franchise has been nothing short of successful. But there is one question I've always had about it. How do the characters understand each other? No matter what race or planet they see or they go to, they always seem to be speaking the same language and can understand the same language as well that is spoken to them. Now, I've been making a joke now for a couple of years that the Doctor must be in some sort of time bubble within the Dragon Ball franchise, if you don't know who I'm talking about. Uh, I'm talking about Doctor Who. Because it is explained in the newly revamped Doctor Who series that the passengers within the TARDIS can understand everything that is spoken to them in an alien language. I don't believe the Doctor is in the Dragon Ball franchise, even though how cool it would be. Just imagine that, a Doctor Who Dragon Ball Z franchise, like a crossover whatnot. Someone needs to draw that for me. Can I get someone to draw that for me? But I got to thinking, what if there is a device, or being for that matter, with the same function to do so, to translate anything so people can understand each other within the universes. Well, there is. Despite there being the indigenous languages of their respective races, like the Namekians speaking Namekians, for those of you who followed and are following Dragon Ball Super, whether it be uh, you watched it with the Japanese with the subtitles or you're currently watching it with Sean Schemmel and all of their voice casting with Funimation. They will know that there was a new language introduced in Dragon Ball Super which is dubbed the language of the gods. Now, the only people who can understand said language are as the name suggests, the gods. That being said, there is one god that is above everyone, the one above all, the Grand Zeno. Now, for those of you who've watched Dragon Ball Super, you know that there is no one above Grand Zeno, and nobody can be as close of a friend as to Grand Zeno as Goku has, which he pulled off surprisingly. Anyway, with that being said, he can do anything he wants at any given time. He can create universes, he can erase universes just with the snap of his fingers. So, that leads me to my theory. My theory is that the Grand Zeno has planted a subconscious routine in every living being in the universe to understand and speak every language that is spoken to them. So what do you think? I think it is completely plausible for this to be the case. Grand Zeno, as I said before, the highest deity you can have, or at least if, at least until they make another one if they do, has the power to do this. So, how, how higher can you go than the creator of the universe being able to do this? The creator of the multiverse being able to do this? I do not believe it is that far off. Because it is just... It is right there. The evidence is right is right there. So show me your thoughts. Leave me your thoughts down in the comments and just give it a whirl. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I just hope you enjoyed the video. 
Man, it felt really good to be on my second video back, having a theory all planned out and everything like that. If you want to see more, I can, I'll leave some links down in the description for you. And also, keep your eyes peeled on this channel I'm going to leave in the description for you. Because in the few next few months, into the next year, there's going to be a lot of things happening over there as well. And you are not going to want to miss it, trust me. Plus, the reviewer over there is... Well, let's just say we're pretty friggin' close. And this reviewer deserves everything, every one of you to be watching. So go over to the link I'm putting in the description and go follow Peanut the Rant Man, aka Superhero Critic. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of things happening within the next year even that you're not going to want to miss. Also, I'll put the link down to my Discord server down in the description. Also, the link to my Twitch channel where I'm going to try to start streaming a bit more uh, than what I have been. Though it's going to be a bit wonky because I've got my bot on my computer and my PS4 to stream, so no face cam just yet. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all have a nice day. I hope you have a great week. And like I always say, remember to stay nerdy.